Alright, hey guys, it's that movie dude here for the final day of Comic Con. I'm on my way, so here we go. Final day, lots of people, loving it all. Alright, so just got out of the Karate Kid reunion panel. Really cool. I, I love that movie, it really kind of inspired me. And of course, how about your mother? And they asked about, they talked about both, which is really cool. Um, Billy Zap is awesome, and Ralph Macchio is Ralph freaking Macchio. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was really cool. You're gonna see some video on that. Ralph, uh, why don't you tell everybody about your journey to the Karate Kid? Yeah, Ralph! Hello. Um, yes, I auditioned for John Avildsen, our director, as mentioned, um, in New York, in his apartment. Um, uh, there was a whole line of guys sitting out front talking about, do you believe the title of this thing, The Karate Kid? Is this the stupidest title ever? Uh, um, you know, which I, uh, who knows, who knew that uh, 30 years later, it would now be on my tombstone in prep. <laughs> uh, yeah. or, or now they have to change it to original, but we'll deal with that. Yeah! It came out in when? 1984? I, you know, I wasn't even born then. <laughs> so I don't know how I'm in this film. Uh, I, the true story is that I was doing commercials. I was like the all-American like milk kid, and I was at the gym one day uh, wearing a tank top, yes, and a headband, yes. And my manager called me and uh, said, uh, you have an interview for a movie called The Karate Kid, which was funny because I didn't know karate. And, uh, and uh, so I went, to, I went to Columbia at the time and, and met with the casting directors and uh, they handed me a script and they said we think you'd be perfect for this and that was it. I went home and read it and I'm like, this guy's a black belt, I don't know any karate, or it's a motorcycle gang leader. Um, <laughs> how am I possibly going to do this, you know? And then I went in and I read for uh, John and um, I remember this is, you know, back when you're doing commercials in those days, everybody was very friendly on the auditions. It's like, hey man, you know, look at that milk commercial, whatever. But everybody in this audition was reading for Johnny. And everybody was just like in character, like it was like everybody was like out johnning the next guy. And uh, I was like, you know, I'm not used to this. So I actually sat in my dad's 1970 red Volvo listening to Zebra, if you guys remember that. <laughs> the true story. I sat in the car and just was like, uh, tell me what you want, all this stuff cranked up, you know. And then they came to pull me in and I went in to read. And, um, and I remember doing a scene that's cut out of the movie. It's, a, it's the only scene that I auditioned for the whole movie and, and it never made the final cut. But it's before the final tournament, and I, I come up to Daniel and hand him a uh, piece of paper. You remember the scene? Remember, and I take your hand, and I just... <laughs> um, and uh, I, hand him, I hand him a piece of paper. He goes, what's this? And it's a death certificate. You know, I go, and, uh, it's true. Oh, that would have been uh, great. He goes, what's this for? And I go, you got, you got to get your mommy to sign it so you can be in the tournament with the big boys. <laughs> and then he goes, oh, I thought it was supposed to be no contact. And I go, yeah, well, accidents happen. <laughs> Away and he goes, hey, you think he might be wrong? And I say, who? He goes, your instructor, you think he might be wrong? And then my line is, watch your mouth, asshole. <laughs> so when that happened, when that, that, that watch your mouth, asshole line came up, like, something just kind of came over me and I walked across the room and one of the rules in acting is never touch the director or somebody on the edge. But I literally grabbed the director and I said, watch your mouth, asshole. And like Johnny's, like, it was like a hiccup of Johnny and me, you know? And I threw him kind of down and then walked to the end. Anyway, that was my audition and I walked out thinking, oh, well, uh, you know, if I don't get the part, at least I threw the director in his chair. Yeah. <laughs> there was a series of uh, meetings. Alright guys, so we're on our way to the uh, Gotham panel. It's been a good show so far, so I'm excited to see some of the cast and the creators, and it uh, should be fun. The madness and the awesomeness that is Comic-Con. Elliot, you might as well get in the balcony. You can do it, Elliot. Can you do it? Almost there. Wait a minute. Please welcome Donald Lowe. Woo! This gentleman is Apple Puffle Puffy. He hates me to call his parents. No way. Lord Taylor. Yeah! Yeah! 
I've, I've heard the Harvey Bullock animated. My kids, we live in Oregon and LA, so we do this 11 hour drive every weekend, and they were just watching Batman the Animated Series for a year. So I've heard, yeah! I heard it all was coming through the speaker system while I was driving, so it was great, and he did a fantastic job, but I just knew that for me personally, that that approach would have just kind of been, I wouldn't, it, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been good. I, I couldn't have done that job, and so I, we're having fun creating these characters. I spoke with Ben before we started. Jeff had told him, just be free. You know, hey, Gordon can grow a mustache at some point over the next 20 years. <laughs> the look might even shave. Danny keeps wanting me to gain weight, you know. <laughs> He's like, oh, look, mate, you're skinny, you know, whatever. All right, um, so, you know, they're, they're, they got time to go to get to the point where you know them in the future. All right, so I was waiting in line for the Gotham panel, right? And they're like, okay, we can only accept 10 for other side. So I, I'm one to 10, right? So I get up to the mic. They're answering the other question for the other side with the other microphone. And then they suddenly go, oh, we got to wrap it up. Bye. I was shut out of my question at Gotham. Um, but you know what? It was an awesome panel. I'm, I'm liking the show. And I, re I really, you know, I really liked it. The panel was really exclusive. I took some video of it. Found the, the one ring.net uh, panel slot thing here. It's really cool. Great website, really love it. So I'm back home. Comic Con is uh, officially over uh, th this year. Um, really awesome weekend. I really love this weekend, and I'm glad I was en ended up ma uh, making that video. Sorry, I didn't get to make a third video. Uh, that was my stupidity. I, I apologize. But yeah, I, I think a trilogy is better. Like you know, just three things. People are sort of used to like a trilogy. So a trilogy of Comic Con videos. Uh, really enjoyed today. Today we saw, I saw Carrie Elways at his panel. I uh, met Billy Zapka, the real Karate Kid. Uh, how about your mother uh, reference there? And yeah, really enjoyed this weekend. Can't wait to go back. And I want I want to um, give a, a special uh, thank you to Movieified NYC. There's a logo that's been in all my videos. Uh, it's probably that round right there. Where um, it says MFD NYC, that's a, that's a website I'm featured on called MovieifiedNYC.com. You should check that out. They are the ones that got me the press pass so I could go all all four days. 
uh, thank you to, to you guys. You guys are amazing. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time I, I have a review and I, I see a movie. And with that, this is That Movie Nerd, signing off.